Hey everyone, now we're up for another noir, the 1948 movie, Raw Deal, starring Dennis O'Keefe, Claire Trevor, and Marcia Hunt. Now Joe Sullivan, Dennis O'Keefe, is in prison, taking the rap for his boss, Rick Coyle, Raymond Burr, but uh, Joe is crying out for freedom. So oh, Rick arranges things for him to escape. However, Rick is not doing this out of the goodness of his heart, as he hopes the police will kill Joe as he tries to escape. Now Joe's girlfriend, Pat Regan, Claire Trevor, is waiting outside the prison with the getaway car, and Joe's escape is more successful than Rick had planned. Now the police do manage to hit the car with a few bullets, which... Stops them from getting away cleanly. So they stop at the apartment of Ann Martin, Marcia Hunt, who had been trying to help Joe's lawyer at the trial. Now Joe and Pat take her hostage and uh, take off in her car, making their way toward a previously arranged meeting spot with Rick. However, Rick has sent one of his goons, Fantail, John Ireland, in his place to kill Joe. Fantail fails, though, when Anne picks up a gun and shoots him, although he's only wounded. Now, Joe has kind of fallen for Anne, which has made Pat jealous, but he tries to send Anne back to San Francisco on her own. Unfortunately, Fantail finds Anne and brings her to Rick. Rick calls for her, Joe, but he only talks to Pat on the phone telling her that uh, Joe must come to him or Anne will die. Now the question is, can Pat tell Joe or will she let Anne die? Now this movie was originally made for Eagle Lion Studios, reteaming director Anthony Mann with his cinematographer John Alton and star Dennis O'Keefe after the success of the previous year's T-Men. Don't ask me about that film yet, as I haven't seen it, but it is on my list of movies to watch in the near future when I can get that far. Now, I can't deny the success of the director and cinematographer, as it does heighten the effect of this movie. While no doubt the censors were involved in what they could, or could not, do, their creativity and working within that makes this movie wonderful. Oh, the scene where er, Raymond Burr's angry Rick Coyle tosses a flaming brandy onto his girlfriend's face after she accidentally spills her drink on him is made more horrifying, mainly because he throws it at the camera. We don't see the actual damage, but we hear the scream, and our imaginations can certainly run wild with it. <laughs> now, the camera angles just do a great job of making his character just that much more threatening of course, over the whole thing, we have Clark Trevor's Pat essentially narrating the story, in rare instance of a woman doing so for the genre, and so we get her viewpoint on the story. Honestly, I have to admit I enjoyed this movie, and it is one that I would quite readily recommend. Now, this movie is available on Blu-ray and DVD from Classic Flicks, either as a limited special edition or as part of a triple-featured John Alton collection with the T-Men and He Walked By Night. Now, the last I knew, which was before Christmas 2019, the special edition with all of its extras was running low on the number of copies available. And since it's limited edition, as far as I know, once it's gone, it's gone. So, if you want it that way, then you better be prepared to buy right away. Otherwise, the Bare Bones triple feature release is still a good way to see it. And with the typically pristine transfer from classic flicks, with only like a handful of specs on the image here and there, it's an easily recommended release. Either way. Now the movie itself is 1 hour and 19 minutes in length. Well, that's all I have to say on this one, everybody. Thanks for listening, and I hope you'll keep coming back for more.